Hey there, GI Nation. I'm your host, Crystal Levin, and you are watching GI Weekly, your number one source for bodybuilding entertainment. Summer is almost here, and that means big summer blockbuster movies. So we've decided to count down the top five bodybuilding films ever made. Let's go watch some. Number five, Teddy Bear. Don't let the title fool you, first time actor Kim Cold is enormous. Six foot three inches and 308 pounds, he is a real life Hulk. Even better, Cold actually kicks ass with his performance in this movie, opening up a very real and human portrait of the psychology behind all that muscle, earning Teddy Bear the number five spot on our list. Number four, bigger, stronger, faster. One look at Valentino's arms and you know something's going on. You think girls look at me and go, oh my God, that's hot. They're like, <coughs> that's gross. Steroids are as American as apple pie. I wanted to be Sylvester Stallone. And in the spirit of Rambo, we're going to win this time. Truth is, all my heroes had a dirty little secret. Sylvester Stallone has been charged with importing bodybuilding drugs. You can't talk very long about bodybuilding before someone brings up steroids. But instead of avoiding the conversation altogether, director Chris Bell jumps in headfirst, taking an honest look into the world of steroids and bodybuilding. Number three, stay hungry. Once you get used to it, it's hard to give up. I'd rather stay hungry. When are you gonna take that mask off? When Joe takes that title next month, he's gonna have done it all. Stay Hungry is a fictional account of the culture clash between the elitist upper class and the outcast bodybuilding world. It's a rare early insight into the growing sport as it edges its way into pop culture, earning it the number three spot on our list. Number two, Generation Iron. I know, I know. The road to success isn't always straight or clear in the sport. Another loss like Tampa would mean months and years of training have been wasted. This means the loss of prize money and perhaps even a sponsor. The support line for any bodybuilder. Generation Iron introduced the larger public to the Kai-Phil rivalry and provided an inside look at the lives behind the best bodybuilders in the world that is often never seen. Well, except in one other movie. The number one bodybuilding movie is Pumping Iron. Just relax. I don't have any weak points. I had weak points a few years ago. But the, my main uh, thing in mind is, my goal always was to even out everything to the point that everything is perfect. Which means if I want to increase one muscle a half inch, the rest of the body has to increase. I would never just make one muscle increase or decrease. Because everything fits together now, and all I have to do now is get my posing routine out, down more perfect, which is almost impossible to do, you know. It's perfect already. You all saw this one coming. But facts are just facts. Pumping iron changed everything for bodybuilding, turning it from a hidden little sport into a cultural phenomenon. This movie brought bodybuilding out of the dark and into the Hollywood spotlight. It also put Arnold Schwarzenegger on the map, and he hasn't left ever since. He's still on screens kicking ass and hitting those one-liners, all because of pumping iron. That's it for this week's list, but we want to know what movies you think belong on here. Send us your thoughts on our official Facebook and Twitter pages, and don't forget to use hashtag GI Weekly. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right here to get updates on all of our daily videos. Now, I'm gonna go watch all of those movies and get motivated. <laughs> Peace out, stay pumped.